Okay, hey everyone, this is, um, God, I haven't made a video in forever. <laughs> this is so weird to me. Um, I kind of stopped making videos because I felt that I was just kind of doing things and, um, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, my mind's like hopping and doing a bunch of different things. But, um, this is going to be a personal vlog, and I'm going to just talk about things, and I'm probably going to hop around a lot of things like I just started, and um, I'm just going to kind of talk about like where I am, because um, I feel like I've finally hit like a place where I know like where I need to go, and I've spent like the last couple of months just like wrestling with a lot of things, doing a lot of different things. And, um, I kind of feel like now I kind of feel like where I have an intention, where to go with my life, what to do, what to kind of be, um, I mean, I kind of have, like, some things I know, because, um, I know that, uh, when I went to Kyle City's event, actually, this is why I'm making it, it's, it's kind of talking about, like, the breakthrough part. So, um, when I was at Kyle Caesar's event, I was still very much like, um, uh, how do I describe this? Like, I was just like, like, I spent a majority of my life, like, underneath entertainment. I spent a majority of my life, like, distracting myself with taking things, you know, you, you read a book and you take a story and you put it in your head, you know, or, you, you know, you learn through entertainment, you know, you just watch TV shows all day and video games and music and you don't really put anything out you're just sort of like okay here's another piece another piece another piece so you take it in and so my head is just full pretty much all the time and um so actually that's where that's where i really feel like i want to go i feel like i want to go uh <laughs> it's funny because i have like things i want to say and now it's just like it feels like it's coming out all wrong but you know i guess that's an illusion too because I have so many things I have to say, and, um, because that, that's where I feel where I am, is I feel like my energy level is right about here, and my stability level is here, so it's like, so it's like I have a bazillion ideas, and I have a bazillion things going through me all the time, but I have a very little, it, it's like, um, it'd be like if you stuck, like, like, um, th like, let's say the size of the vehicle was, like, a size 5, but the energy that went through the vehicle was, like, a size 20. So the vehicle is just, like, bouncing off around, and it's not stable, it's not, like, you know, doing things right. So, I feel like, um, I've spent such a long time on knowledge and learning and, and weighing myself underneath hundreds of things, like entertainment, like I said before, and, um... I feel like where I need to go now is becoming a better and stronger vehicle. I, I remember in um, junior year of high school, uh, I actually, I did a personal trainer throughout the entire year, like around, I think, August, September, I did a personal trainer at the gym all the way until, like, um, May-ish till next year, and that was terrible, because, um, I mean, it was great, it was, I learned a lot, but it was terrible, because I had been having bad food at the time, and I actually, that's, I got sick, and then I had to, you know, I couldn't work out for, like, several weeks, um, and then I had to realize that I had to change my eating habits. By the way, sorry about all this stuff, my room's, um, a mess, and, uh, it's, it's a mess half the time, and it's clean half the time, and it alternates between the two, and right now you're seeing it, and it's kind of weird and messy, and, um, I haven't bothered kind of putting it all back together, um, but, uh, I just feel that I, I, I became a lot stronger, I actually remember that time when I actually was working out, and I had spent such a long time doing it that I felt so confident, and I feel that I've, been spending like a lot of these times these past couple months at Calisys event like taking myself apart and and I've literally took myself so much apart that like like it's just like I've turned into a machine 
so that it's now like, um, you know, you're just, everything's neutral, so you don't know what you're passionate anymore, you don't, I don't, well, not you, me, <laughs> sorry, I'm referring to somebody else, no, I'm not, I'm referring to me, and, and, uh, it's like so hard for me to like grasp things, you know, and, and, because there's energy, so there's too many things going through, and it's hard for me to catch a stable thing, but I do know what I'm good at, and I know that I'm good at, um, I'm good at, no, no, I, I know what I'm good at, I'm just, sorry, I'm trying to think, <laughs> I'm good at being silly, Blah. I'm good at being, um, dancing, but my dancing is all, like, you know, so, like, my feet right now are just, like, they have too much energy. I have too much energy in here, and I don't have a better, strong enough vehicle. So I need to get this vehicle strong, and then I need to take it for a run on things and do things. And I feel, I actually was researching, I opened this up earlier in the couple of seconds ago, is that I've been researching, like, things that, um, like, watching videos about kids with ADHD, well, not, not, kind of looking at articles and stuff, and it, they all say the same thing, that, like, they all, all ADHD people need to move and be active and stuff, and I've spent, like, the majority of my life in front of a television screen, so it's been, like, terrible, and my mind's been, like, so what I feel I need to do is, um, just do active things like yoga, dancing, and when dancing, you just do all types of dancing, you know, jazz, tap, uh, I don't know all the kinds of dances, uh, do yoga, I've actually found a lot of benefit in doing Iyengar yoga, because actually, but I haven't, it's funny because when I do one type of thing, it's too boring to me because I've made me so hop around -y. So actually, I'm not just, so this is going to be really cool. I'm not just going to learn one type of dance or one type of yoga. I actually feel like I want to spend my time learning everything that has to do with the body and just kind of bring it all to some, like, like putting pieces on a puzzle board and just turning myself into, like, this whole strong person. And I actually feel that that's so important because, like, right now, you know, like, when, when sometimes, like, Kelsey's talked about, like, purpose and flow and all these types of things, like, I don't really feel that as much because I think that my energy is just too crazy. So it's just, like, there's too many things trying to get in and I have to, like, like, make a very strong attention and a very strong, like, feel in this moment. Like, really, you know what I mean? Because if, if you're, if you have, like, you know, you have the five pieces of the body... You know, and one's going off this way, and one's going off this way, and one's going off this way, and one's going off this way. Then it's just like, you know, you need to unify them, you know, and so that they're all kind of, you know, moving towards the same goal, you know. And um, I actually watched a video, and this this is actually how I got into the dancing, is that there's this video called uh, How Do Schools Kill Creativity? And it's Sir Ken Robinson, and he actually tells a story of this dancer. Um, uh, back then, I, you know, when, when before ADHD, but it would have been maybe called ADHD. And um, it tells the story of this girl who, who couldn't pay attention. She couldn't sit still. And her mother took her to a doctor, and, um, you know, she, you know, told, talked to the doctor and said, like, this you know, my daughter is messing up and doing all these problems and everything, and she's sick and everything. And he said, okay, well, I'll, let's talk out in the hallway. So he went out, he said, we're going to go out in the hallway, and on the way out, he turned on the radio, and her daughter, literally, as soon as the door closed, she was up and dancing with the music. And the doctor observed her for a while, and then she says, your daughter isn't sick, your daughter likes to dance, take her to a dancing school, and I was like, whoa, well, maybe that's, maybe that's what I need to do, and I actually feel better when I actually use my body, you know, I actually feel like, like, because I've, I've been sitting still for so long, and just playing video games, and reading books, and watching TV shows, and, and putting my mind into one thing, that now it, I feel like this warmth just enters my body when I, when I, you know, use it, and, really feel it and it feels really really amazing to me. I'm so like excited to just 
like change like my whole pathway you know because the funny thing is, is a lot of where I was where I am in my life I've never been like half of it has been spent just learning knowledgeable things and the other half is just like my mom wants me to go to school and get education all this stuff and so it's like half I'm doing what I want and half I'm doing what she wants and so now I need to kind of unify them and I actually am going to collegle this right now um, I've got nine minutes left. Okay, so, um, oh, by the way, before I, I start the Kalegel, um, I'm just going to say that, um, I, I looked at this up in an article, but I feel like I'm meant to be a musician, I'm meant to be a, a dancer, um, I know I'm really good with words, even if it's sometimes hard to start making up a story, um, I just need to get my addiction in, into creating and having fun with whatever flows in the moment, you know, but I have to kind of have that awareness stabilize of moving in a specific direction. So, uh, musician, poet, actor, it's funny because I watch so many movies, so I try to, I, I actually used to literally imitate, um, people, like, whenever I would watch a movie, I would imitate, like, the actor in the movie. Like, this is, um, this is from the movie Rat Race. Uh, Hold on, I, I have trouble remembering. Let me see. Oh, what a beautiful room this is! Oh, shit, what, is, what was it? It was, um, Enrico Pellini. My name is Enrico Pellini. Oh, well, um... Sorry, my English is not so good, but I am learning. Ah, little cooktogies. <laughs> They're called cocktail weenies. Ah, cocktail weenies. <laughs> Sorry, my English is not so good, but I am learning. Oh, it's been a long time since I watched a movie. But, you know, I would just, like, imitate things like that. And then I would, like, imitate, like, um... Why so serious, son? You know, and, and just imitating. And that's why I can... I always, like, wondered why I can never take people seriously. Because people will come up to me and they'll be like... Let me tell you about my bad day, and I'm just like, <laughs> let me burst out laughing and hand you a bunch of bubble wrap. And they're just like, you know, like, <laughs> well, actually, I've never done that. I've done it in my head. That That's the addiction. You know, I figure if it's not going here, it's going, well, if it's not going here, it's going here. Sorry. And up means mind, and here means vocal, you know, reality. You know, get it. So, um... So yeah, I just feel like that's that's what I really want to go and go for it. I'm actually thinking about buying a piano and like literally learning how to play the piano, learning how to play the guitar, because that's where I feel like I really am right now. Like I've hit the reset button. I've learned everything up in here, but I haven't experienced it, and I haven't created anything. You know, I've gotten so addicted to taking, you know, through learning, and now I need to give back by just learning things and then. Creating and creating and creating and creating. So we're going to first start with my body, and then we're going to move to other alternate things. And um, I think that um, I I think uh, I don't have enough time to collect all, but um, yeah. So that's kind of what I wanted to make a video about. Just break through where I feel I am at this moment, where I feel like I'm going. You know everything. Uh, I'm gonna do, and I kind of, I really wanted to make this video for kind of like Kyle Cease and, because I, I, I couldn't attend his event because I never, I felt like, like his event was really, really amazing when I had it. I opened myself up to more connections. I opened myself up to knowing more people, but it was kind of like, whoa, like I, I have to sift through everything that I have in my life and take it apart, and which I have, and now I just need to start a building in a more positive way of what it is I want. So, five more minutes. I'm making this on Saturday morning, literally, and um, I'll probably upload this either later today or um, tomorrow, and uh, I, I don't know if when the Kalego group will check this out or anyone else will be able to check it out, but I really wanted to make a video on my update on my life, and... Um, um, I wish I really could be there at Kyle Cease's event, 
but um, I don't want to sound like too like like egotistical or whatever or whatever label it is, but I honestly feel like I know where I'm going with my life and um, what it is I'm going to do. And I can't thank Kyle Cease and his event for literally just opening me up to so many possibilities and opening up to so many pathways and, and you know, giving me such an incredible, amazing advice. And I can't wait to see where this is all going to unfold. But it's definitely going to be in the whole, like, creative genre of just, like, having fun and playing. And, yeah. So... Um, have a blast at, uh, Evolving Out Loud. It's going to be so much fun, even if I'm not there and, you know, anyone else isn't there. But, um, have a blast, and maybe I'll see you at the next event. Maybe I'll see you on the dance stage or see you, um, acting or whatever. Oh, before I go, I actually want to say one more thing. Yeah, I, I have enough time. I actually, um, I have an ex like a, a huge amount of ideas for screenplays and everything, and I know that this is like kind of weird to say because I haven't like created anything and and sent it out, but um, I actually have ex like loads of ideas for like movies, TV shows. I actually have loads of ideas for inventions too. The inventions I'm gonna throw out there uh, for this is that. I have ideas for them, but I don't, you know, I don't really want to learn, like, that type of thing yet, because I feel like that's more mind-based, I feel like I want to learn, like, do more things that involve, like, my body, you know, like, writing isn't bad for me, or, or you know, just kind of involve things that, you know, make me get up and, and enjoy my body more, instead of just sitting down and, and doing things that, you know, are very mind-based, so, um... I don't know if anyone in this uh, group is good with inventions or or any of that type of stuff, but if you are, I would totally be willing to just like like give ideas for inventions that have gone through my head. Um, I still have like an idea that I've had for like several months, and it just it's really crazy. And so yeah, I just figured I'd throw that out there, and um, I realize that I'm not really in the place to kind of give these ideas yet because I haven't really implemented them into like writing them or or like creating a blueprint for them and really getting them out there but um you know I just figure I just throw that out there so yeah uh I'm gonna make another part two and just kind of collegle where I'm gonna be a year from now now that I know like where I am so and I think that's really important you know if you're you know kind of collegling and you're kind of like a mess you know, you kind of have to, like, sift through all the stuff and get to your soul and then be like, I know where I want to go. So, I just, that, I figured I'd put that there too. So, yeah, part one. I'm going to make part two.